Okay, I think the question is, why do we bother to predict <coughs> if oops, predict if the sum or difference or what we're dealing with is positive or negative? Why bother? Well, <coughs> the idea is you should always have a sense of where you're going, of what you're doing. <coughs> and when you see a problem, whether it's a long, complicated problem or a short, easy one, you should have a sense right from the beginning if your answer will be positive <coughs> or negative. And the combinations we look at are a negative plus a negative, which gives us a negative value. This is always true. So if, if you have a bunch of negative numbers, whatever technique you use, it might be easy to forget that the negative sign goes in the sum. But that's why we try to reinforce this idea. <coughs> Excuse me. Also, if you have a positive plus a positive number, whatever strategy you're using, don't forget that equals a positive. And if the signs are mixed, <clears throat> if it's a positive plus a negative, you try to remember that you can tell if the answer is positive if the positive number has a bigger absolute value. And you can tell if the answer is negative if the negative number has a bigger absolute value. And the reason we go through this process is to help us think about what the answer should be so we can't get mixed up.